What's up y'all, it's Peaches, your favorite nail tech, back with another video. You guys already know it's Valentine's season, okay, it's time for Valentine's nails. And this particular set did have an inspo picture, it came out really cute. My client, she's a regular, apparently she had tried to get this set two other times before she ever came to me and was disappointed, okay? And this time, you know she wasn't. So today's subscriber shout out goes to Taking Baby Steps, subscribe since Monday, very much appreciated. Okay, subscribe for a whole week. You guys don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications. If you are not subscribed, subscribe. And if you are, turn on your notifications. Honestly, just turn them on just because you don't want to miss nothing. So, the color that we're using is Peaky Nude by Not Polished. Because if it's not Not Polished, it's not what, it's not nothing. Period. That's on everything. And we're using Young Nails Core Clear. And these red heart sequins, you can find them on Amazon, honestly. I have had them. For a long while um you know that's just what we're gonna use so she really wanted some like larger heart sequins and i pretty much told her like look they come pretty mixed up i'll take out a couple and we'll go ahead and use these sizes she said she was fine with that i was like okay cool so really what we're starting out with is a very very thin layer of clear right and this part's pretty self-explanatory very very thin layer of clear and i am going one by one and placing the hearts as I feel if you guys want to see the set like side by side with the inspo pick I highly suggest you go ahead and go to my Instagram nails by pretty face and so that way you can go ahead and see what her inspo pick was versus what I went ahead and did for her now I'm not even gonna lie to you guys if the nails don't look um you know all the way prepped to you that's because they're not I'm not even gonna lie I accidentally forgot primer and I went ahead and added it after you guys will see that you know what i'm saying so just disregard that that's not the normal order of operations that i do so you guys are seeing me right now after i do a couple of nails i'm gonna go in with a very 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 thin layer of clear and honestly anytime i am doing an ombre that needs to have like a design like this i usually do a thin layer of clear on top just so that way when you bring your ombre down everything is not bumpy lumpy you know what i'm saying like y'all already know we don't know, don't like no humpty dumpty nails like don't nobody want no fucking bumps and lumps all over the place it's gonna be very hard for you to drag down an ombre over stuff that is uneven you know what i'm saying but in doing this you have to be careful because when you do put the little bit of acrylic on top, the way it dries is going to show on top of the sequins depending on what you're using and what you're doing. So basically I kind of had to go back and peel off some of the acrylic. It kind of sounds weird. It's not really a peeling off. It's kind of like a flaking off because as it dries, it's so thin that it will just flake right off. So basically I would only advise you putting acrylic onto like the first two sequins or whatever and just make sure it's like an even layer so you don't have that problem so here i am going in and actually priming both hands because like i said i did forget hold on i need some sunflower seeds you guys so yeah because i went ahead like it just clicked in my head like did i really not prime like come on now so going ahead and doing that to make sure her nails do not pop the hell off and we're gonna go ahead and we are going to do our ombre now i'm only showing you guys footage of one hand because i really just wanted to focus on the design it's exactly the same on both hands so really the the main part of this video actually the whole entire video is application and i do include a top coat clip at the end which is different from what i normally do so you know that's exciting right so basically what you want to achieve is a really nice blend now when you are doing an ombre over sequins and encapsulated things like this especially when the tip is clear you really need to basically put color down further than what you where you wanted to stop so even though i pretty much wanted the ombre not to go past maybe like the first 
sequin area, like not too far past the free edge, you will see me go ahead and take some nude and drag it further past that because although the color won't be as opaque, it will give you the illusion. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all got my seeds. My sunflower seeds. So it will give you the illusion that it's fading down because the nude is going to cloud the rest of the tip. So you don't want to drag it down too far, but do you see where I'm placing it and I'm dragging it down a little bit? It's not really making the nude be more nude and more opaque, okay? It's giving a very translucent effect because you do need something to blend. See how I'm blending down? You need something to blend into that clear area, okay? And without that, it's just going to look very choppy. And I'm going to be honest, the inspo pic that she showed me, it was a little bit choppy. So the reason why I am not um, encapsulating right away is really just because I kind of felt like the nail was still a little tiny wet and I did not want to reactivate the acrylic that was already there. I kind of wanted to let it polymerize for a minute. If you guys are not familiar with polymerization, that is the process in which the acrylic and the acrylic powder and the monomer have a reaction and it basically hardens up to what we know as acrylic in this form, okay? so. Make sure you really, really get the sides encapsulated as well because the thing with clear is it's kind of tricky because when you have clear nails, they're often on the side walls will be thinner, but everywhere else has the potential to be very thick. And to avoid that, you want to go ahead and make sure that you are going ahead I'm showing a little extra love to the sidewalls, okay? So, here we go. Ready to encapsulate this one. And even if you feel like your ombre is a little bit, you know, uh, hey, it's not as good as I want it to be. When you put clear on top of an ombre, I've said this many, many times, something about that clear, it do something to cause it look a little bit smoother, you know? But that's why when you um go ahead when you go ahead and um put a little bit of layer of a clear over those first couple of sequins where you know for a fact I I want my ombre to be in this area you will get a smoother transition if I wouldn't have put the clear once again if I want to put the clear the um I almost said the ombre the nude would have gotten stuck around certain sequins, and that's not what you want. So see how I'm going on the sidewalls, making sure everything is covered. You don't want no little gaps or nothing like that. Not a good look. So once again, um, yeah, that bead kind of slipped off, but I didn't mind it because I wanted it to dry out a little bit. So like I said, we don't really waste no beads over here. So you can see how much product is on my paper towel. It is pretty minimal product because this type of design does not require too much product at all. Her nails are on the smaller side, like her nail beds themselves are on the smaller side. So this whole set doesn't require too much product, but I still will need to change out my paper towel. All right. I try to make it a big deal to you guys and fuss at y'all about changing y'all uh, motherfucking paper towels. And I need to go ahead and make sure I do the same because I am guilty of not changing it quick enough, you know? So you can see my acrylic is uh, it's not um, stiffening up as quick as it possibly could or maybe to what I prefer and it's in the winter time like when it's colder it is a little bit harder because the colder your room is the runnier your acrylic so if you find that you're having a hard time with your consistency and stuff I would advise you and encourage you to go ahead and watch my um, liquid to powder ratio video that I have here on my channel already that might help you a little bit more. I have a lot of in-depth ombre tutorials on my video. I mean, on my videos. On my channel, I have a good amount of ombre um, on my channel. But I thought this would be a good one because this style of ombre is popular for Valentine's Day. And, you know, people are getting Valentine's sets already. I always tell my clients, look, Start booking your Valentine sets in like mid to end January because honestly, 
right before Valentine's Day, like in the next two weeks, it has been close to being booked for a couple weeks now. So, you know, these people don't play about V Day sets at all in the slightest. So, if you have clients, I would really, really post a lot about hey, let's get this going because it will allow you to practice a lot of content and do a lot of different styles but then it will encourage them to come back as soon as february hits because some people like to come two weeks some people three weeks so they'll be able to wear their valentine's design right past valentine's get all their kicks and giggles with it through january and then change it up for february you know what i'm saying so that's what i encourage but to each their own so anyways back to the set i thought i'd just give a little bit of advice when it comes to valentine sets or i guess booking around holidays or like you know seasonal type sets <clears throat> but i'm basically going in making sure once again that i have all the covers that i need you can see that i'm not dragging this ombre down very far at all which was kind of like the picture like the picture did not have a very long ombre i feel like it's best with these type of sets to really showcase the tip but once again you do need that smooth transition from color into the clear tip so before you go ahead and cap make sure you're looking like look are all these nails pretty much have the ombre area matching up you don't want some that's dragged down too far and some not dragged down enough you really want this to be a very consistent look because it is so simple inconsistencies will show up and in this particular nail you can see that i'm trying to get rid of a little like speck of the previous clear acrylic where i had kind of capped the sequins and that's exactly what i was talking about earlier like it's really good to do that and cap the sequins but like in a very when i mean a very light layer of clear acrylic i mean a very light watery just so that way it can really get around the edges of the sequins so that way it's a smoother transition but in doing that sometimes on some of the sequins you can get a little bit of like a buildup so that's kind of what i was just kind of poking at but then once you put the top layer on it's not really as noticeable but still just beware for that okay now when you're doing these type of sets you need to make sure that everything like i said looks consistent it looks good and the reason why like i said because it is so simple anything wrong will stand out okay so that's why I'm looking from all sides, all angles, making sure the apex and everything is good to go. And then, you know, on the thumb, go ahead and do the same thing. So these type of sets are really good for Valentine's Day. It also kind of allows people to just really have a Valentine's set without being too like, ooh, it's Valentine's Day, you know? Hold on, y'all. So, Here we go with the thumb. And on this one, I really noticed how the clear dry on that sequin. At the end, by the end of things, it wasn't as noticeable as it is here. So I was happy for that. Because I was like, dang, I wasn't gonna be happy if that was gonna be hell noticeable. Basically. And I feel like with this particular thumb, I was contemplating how far i really wanted to go ahead and bring everything down because i didn't want it to look like too long of an armor so you're going to see me pushing the product back up and then gently fanning some down and you can always do that on anything where you feel like oh i wanted this ombre not to be dragged down as long so now i'm blending the nude into the clear and making like a slightly more translucent uh nude area because really an ombre is gonna be one color is gonna be more prevalent than the other but then also in between those two or however many colors that are opposing each other you have to have that middle blended section where it is an even blend of both so you gotta think about it that way okay but pretty much after the thumb, after I cap this thumb, 
that's the end of the design i know this video was very simple very easy honestly very laid back i really just wanted you guys to kind of see how i did the design it's very easy this is probably like one of the most easiest basic valentine sets that you could possibly do especially as a beginner and it's a good way to practice different elements of like practicing how to cap a nail practicing how to secure um sequins practicing an ombre it gives you a lot of practice of a lot of different types of things all at once but it's simple enough that you don't feel like it's too complicated to execute and it shouldn't get out of control to where you're spending your whole entire life to to damn shape a dog on nail you see what i'm saying so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a lot of content coming up pretty soon here. I am going to be posting a video on like how, ah, damn, on how I got into nails and things like that. My whole journey, basically. And I don't know exactly when it's going to be. I really want to do it this week. I feel like that would be a really nice set to do. And, oh, okay, here we go. We're top coating, top coating, top coating. And honestly, that's pretty much it. Anyways, like I was saying, I really want to do, go ahead and do that video because I really feel like um, it's going to be beneficial for you guys to see how I started versus how I ended up because let me tell you something. Things was always not like this. Okay. They was not, but you know what? You can see the rainbow from the other side or what, whatever the hell they be saying. what they say? Uh, the color at the end of the tunnel or whatever the hell. So, when you're top coating, just make sure that everything is consistent. Y'all know how to top coat. But also, some people put too much top coat or they kind of let it run over. And that's not really a good look. So, you know, just kind of avoid that. But anyways, there's going to be a lot of Valentine's content coming you guys' way. Like I said, that one week before Valentine's or whatever the heck that is, it's already pretty much almost booked up. And next week and the week after, I have sets coming up too. Valentine's, I know for a fact. So don't forget to comment, like, definitely subscribe. Y'all already know. If you're not subscribed, you need to subscribe. If you are subscribed, turn on your notifications. And if Send it you're to people, if you subscribe, yeah, tell them that's my baby daddy. So, baby. yeah, we don't have a kid, but when we do, he will be my baby daddy. So, he is my future baby daddy. Yeah. Okay, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Nails by Pretty Face on Instagram. Y'all already know I post daily on Instagram, I try and post daily here on YouTube. We're almost at 500 subscribers, which means we're almost to a thousand. And I'll see you in the next video. Here is the final look once again. I hope y'all are fucking with it. I hope y'all are fucking with me. And that's all I got to say. I'll see you next time.